Thank you for choosing Shut Sports for your new helmet. Shut Sports is one of the leading protective equipment makers in the world, setting the standards of performance with advanced technology and innovation. Shut Sports is driven by the relentless dedication to the player. This video will show how to properly fit your shut helmet. Properly fitting your football helmet is the single most important thing you can do to ensure the best performance from your helmet. But remember, no helmet can protect you from all head, brain, or neck injuries, including paralysis or death. To avoid these risks, do not engage in the sport of football. Please review the warning label on the helmet to fully understand the risks involved in football. Or you can review it at the end of this video. The fitting instructions in this video apply to the helmets shown here. To get started, first measure the circumference of the player's head using a cloth measuring tape. Do this at the widest point on the head, which is generally about one inch above the eyebrows. This measurement is the starting point for selecting the correct helmet. This chart shows the sizing range for your helmet. For instance, a player with a 22 and a half inch measurement would start with a size large helmet. If a player's head measurement is right on the edge between sizes, we recommend you start with the smaller size helmet and try to properly fit it. If that doesn't work, use the larger size. Now would be a good time to review the warning label on the back of your shut helmet. Make sure the player has read it and fully understands it. There are many ways to put on a helmet or take it off, but the best way to ensure the helmet fits properly is to firmly grasp the helmet by the ear holes with your thumbs on the inside. Pull outward on the helmet as you lift it to your head. Lower your chin and touch the inside of the nose bumper to your forehead. Then roll the helmet onto your head, still pulling outwards on the ear flaps. Now it's time to start customizing the fit, starting with the inflatable airliner inside the helmet. You'll need a shut helmet inflator pump and needle. It's important to use this shut needle to inflate the liners, as it's shorter than a regular needle, the type that's used to inflate footballs, soccer balls, basketballs, and other balls. Using the longer needles runs the risk of puncturing the wall of the liner. Make sure you lubricate the needle generously, but don't use petroleum-based products or saliva to do that. Doing so can damage the inflation ports or the liner. Instead, we recommend using glycerin to lubricate the needle. Start with the inflation port in the back of the helmet near the bottom. This port inflates the lateral airliner in the helmet. It's important to remember at this time that inflating the airliners is not always necessary. If the helmet fits the player properly without inflation, then no inflation is necessary. Insert the needle into the inflation port and adjust the amount of air in the liner using the helmet pump. If too much air is in the liner, you can use the valve on the helmet to let it out. Repeat these steps for the inflation port at the top of the helmet as well. This inflates the crown airliner in the helmet. A properly fitted helmet should be snug on the player's head, but still comfortable and not overly tight. The nose bumper and front edge of the helmet should be about one inch above the player's eyebrows. The ear holes should be centered over the player's ears, and the occipital area should be adequately covered by the helmet. Your shut helmet comes with a set of jaw pads. These jaw pads play an important role in keeping your head securely in place inside the helmet. Shut jaw pads are available in various thicknesses or sizes. If the pair that comes standard with your helmet is not the correct size, substitute other sizes until you've found the size that fits just right. The jaw pads should feel snug and secure, flush with the player's jaw, but not pushing into his face. The chin strap is the final component of a complete helmet system. Have the player hold the cup firmly on his chin. Slide the upper chin straps under the face guard and attach the buckles. Now snap into place. Always attach the upper chin straps first. With the player still holding the chin cup firmly in place, adjust the bottom chin straps and snap into place. There should be no slack in any of the straps, and the chin cup should be centered between the straps. Now that you've followed all of the proper steps to fitting your shut football helmet, it's time to check the fit. Firmly grasp the helmet and try to rotate it on the player's head. 
push up, down, and twist. There should be no independent movement of the player's head. As the helmet moves, so should the player's head. If there is independent movement, go back and repeat these steps until a proper fit has been made. Remember, going through these steps to properly fit your football helmet is the single most important thing you can do to get the best performance from your helmet. But no helmet can protect you from all head, brain, or neck injuries, including paralysis or death. To avoid these risks, do not engage in the sport of football. Make sure you have reviewed the warning label that's attached to your shot helmet. Thank you again for choosing your shut football helmet.